Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Stamp and Chat. I am just going to make sure I'm live in the right place, which I am. Do a little bit of adjusting and just share this over to my VIP group. Alfie's getting excited because he's wondering who on earth I'm talking to. Where's my group gone? Why is it right down the list? Okay, there we go. I might just adjust my grid paper slightly. Who is joining me this morning? Just wait for that to catch up and then I'll stick it back down. I like to just stick my grid paper down. It's a bit better. I might try zooming a little bit as well. It never looks as crisp on my Mac. Hello and welcome. If you're joining me today, do say hello. I'd love to know who's who's watching. So we are on the final card of the Floating and Fluttering Stamp and Chat. If you've never come across me before, I am Kerry. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I've been a demonstrator for 11, gosh, almost, probably 11 and a half years, almost. Um, I love every aspect of what I do. And I have been doing, since we went into lockdown last year, I have had to turn my face-to-face -face business online, which was quite a daunting thing to have to do. It's something I wanted to do for a while, but I suppose COVID gave me the push to do it, to get myself out here. So um, this, this stamp and chat basically is a, a class kit that goes out in the post to people who purchase. And this round included the stamps and the ink pad and card kits. And then each week for five weeks, I hop on here, go live and create a card. And then you can stamp along with me. So that's the whole reasoning behind Stamp and Chat. It's to get you guys being able to stamp along with me. Just going to move something. And I'm going to try just zooming a little bit. Uh-oh. I don't know why it does that. It makes me laugh every time. I am nowhere near the button for flipping my screen, but trying to just zoom. I'm going to come down a little bit with my stand. So a bit of a wobble just while I move my stand down a bit. I just want to be a bit closer. I just feel when I'm when it's far away, it's tricky for you to see. OK, so let's just wait for that to come. Catch up. So hi, if you're joining me, if you are catching me on YouTube over on the replay, thanks for coming along. It would be really great if you could subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoy watching. Um, trying to grow my following over there, obviously very new to YouTube as well. So I would much appreciate a subscribe um, and do leave a comment as well. I still get a notification, even if it's a few months down the line, I still get notification. So we are heading towards the end of February. That is really scary. March is just around the corner. So we have our fabulous celebration promotion still on at the moment. We've still got another week left. We've got until the end of the month. And where's my little brochure? If you're not sure what I'm talking about, this is our little celebration brochure. And basically, when you spend £45... Up until the end of the 28th of February, you can choose a lovely item for free. Now that we have two stages of free gifts, we've got what we call level one. So when you spend £45, you can choose any of these that you can see here. And then when you spend £90, which there are a few of you that do, there are two options in the back of the book. You've got the lovely touch of ink, a touch of ink, which is fabulous. I've done a YouTube video on this stamp set. It's absolutely beautiful. Do not miss out on this one. And then we've also got, which has been really, really popular, the Berry Blessing stamp set. And that comes with this pack of 
pattern paper as well, which is fabulous. And it kind of coordinates with the sweet strawberry bundle that we have in the mini catalogue. Hello, Janet. Oh, do you know what? We've got a bit of sunshine here as well. Probably not as warm as your sun. Lovely to see you on. I hope you're doing okay. So I'm just talking about celebration and that we're running towards the end of it. Time is slipping away. So that's our celebration. I'm going to chat with you a bit about that after because I wanted to talk with you about joining my team because it's a really good time to join. Morning, Belle. How are you? It's warmer today, Janet, is it? Well, it was warm over here in the studio yesterday. I was starting to feel a bit unwell with, with the heating on over here. I had to turn it right off because the sun was coming in through the side velux and I was getting really warm over here, which is lovely because those of you that know me know that I do not like the cold. When my body gets cold, it gets into my bones and then it takes me a very long time to get back to normal. So this was last week's card. So we were using the Knight of Navy. And obviously, if you are stamping with me live today, I know some of you have received your kits now, thank goodness. Shipping seems to be pulling itself together and orders are arriving in a reasonable time. So I think UPS are catching up with backlogs um, and the customs process. There is probably a still a little delay because extra extra measures have to be taken through customs at the moment um, about things coming in. So there's extra paperwork and things to be done. So maybe a little longer delay than normal, but um, yeah, things are coming pretty quick, which is exciting because I've got new products heading my way and I can't wait. I'm gonna share some things with you later though. So that was last week's card. If you're stamping with me live, pull out your card kit number five. It's the last one in your kits. You will have some spare DSP. Let me bring mine in. I've got lots of bits and pieces left. Let's move you out of the way. Pop the ink. So these are the pieces that I've got left. So this is a celebration free gift. Look at all these bits. They won't get wasted, guys. I will use all these bits. This is a free gift when you spend £45. It's the Paper Blooms DSP. Absolutely beautiful. You can fussy cut some of these out or you've got some more structured patterns on the back. Belle, sunny and spring-like here. I know, doesn't it just? I, I said to Jason yesterday, last night when he got home, he was home late. Um, Dinner, dinner was like well done by the time he got in last night. Um, but I said, what a gorgeous afternoon. I was sure that we would do rain yesterday. Um, and the weather forecast does change a bit quick, doesn't it? I think they, they kind of update it about 20 minutes before it's going to happen. <laughs> um, that's probably a real insult to people that do the weather. But that's how it feels when you look at your app on the phone. It kind of changes just frantically. So, yeah, so, and, and I said, like, it just feels like spring has kind of come. I've got some, I'm going to call them baby daffodils. I do not know what their real name is, but just outside of my studio, we've got a little hedge and next to it, these beautiful little daffodils have popped up and it's so lovely to see a bit of colour. So, so that's the DSP. I'm going to be using some of it today. Let's locate, it's that piece that I need. So we're going to be using, cutting a little piece of that. I'll put all of those to one side for the moment. And here is today's card. So again, this is my original. Looks a bit wishy-washy because I didn't have the re for my seaside spray. Using Rococo Rose and a bit of Knight of Navy as well. Now I keep harping on to you about the ink colours that are going. Seaside Spray, there's my Rococo Roses here, Rococo Rose, Pretty Peacock, then we have Terracotta Tile and we don't have the ink pad for Purple Posy, but those colours are all be going. In April, we're, we're going to be in the retiring mode of a new catalogue coming in May. So if you love these colours, you need to get them now before they go, because the closer we head to March, April, people will start panic buying for their in-colour um, cardstock especially and the ink refills. So 
if you love these colours, if you've ordered this paper or if you want to get this paper free, then you might want to invest in some inks that are going to go with it as well. So this is today's card. As with the whole of this round, I'm using the Many Messages stamp because the floating and fluttering, as you can see, does not have any greetings or sentiments in there. So I chose to use this stamp set and stick with it all the way through. It is in our mini catalogue, the January to June, so you can purchase that. There is also a gorgeous die that goes with it. You will have seen me use this. Okay, so that's the die that cuts all of those out. So, let's get stamping. So if you want to stamp live with me, if you've got your kits, or maybe you're going to catch up later, but you will need your final kit, kit number five, and your pieces move all these bits out of the way are going to look something like this you will have some extra die cut pieces in there as well because obviously I, I'm allowed to include die cut pieces in kits but I cannot put in any stamped images so these are your pieces that are in I've also been using the tasteful labels let's see if I've got that handy honestly one of my very well used die sets just really good addition um, to whatever dies you've got. You, they're so usable. Honestly, I use these all of the time. So that's the tasteful labels. So I've gone ahead and just pre-cut this label out of here that's going to give me an aperture. So I'm going to put the card to one side and then we can go along step by step. We're not using this one today. I'm not sure whether I left this in your kit or whether we used it on a previous card. We may well have. When I cut the kits, I put it in with another kit. So this is my insert. You should have one base layer left. That would be your Whisper White. So let's give that one a fold. Oh, Alf is on a fidget now. <laughs> He just looked at me as if to say, yes, are you talking to me? Bless him. He's such a good boy, honestly, we're so lucky. Right, first things first, let's do our stamping. So you will need the big butterfly stamp. Pull in my little spongy mat and your ink. You'll need a scrap of Whisper White Oh, basic white even. I believe you may have had Whisper White in your kits because when I cut them, I still had supplies, but I'm now on basic white and I need to, my brain needs to engage that. Okay, are we close enough? I think so. You know I really want to zoom, but I'm too frightened to. Can't give you more views of my ceiling. So let's ink up this whole stamp. Give it a good ink. Look at that. Can you see how it's sucked out? All the goodness from that ink pad. And I'm just going to pop this one straight down. Just realised I need to get another beautiful another couple of stamps out of my box because I want to fill in with these pieces so these are all part of the two steps so you can have the butterfly plane like this or you can add in not that because it's the leaves but you can add in these stamps just to give them a little bit of something extra so I am going to use that one and this little solid one in here. Let's find a couple of blocks without rocking the camera too much. And just mount these two up. And going to go in. I think I'm going to, shall I stamp? I'm definitely going to stamp off with this one because I'm just going to line that one over just to kind of colour it in. So I'm going to ink it, stamp it off. I can see something on there. 
Just do that again. There's a little black dot on there. Probably somehow a bit of dirt has got onto my ink pad. Can you see how that's just coloured that in? And then this one here. I don't know whether to stamp it off or not. I think, I think I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave it as it is. And just hover over as best I can. And just fill in that butterfly. Now, as I've said every week, with two-step stamping, it's it's good to have different shades of, of one type of colour. So if you had Night of Navy along with the Seaside Spray, it would work so well for this look because you would be able to see such a difference between the two colours. It would just look much, it would look much better. This works okay. Um, and I could have stamped that off, it would have looked different again. Um, but when you've got a darker colour with a lighter colour with two-step, it just, it works how it should work. But for the sake of the stamping chat, I only included one ink pad. Therefore, I'm only going to use the one ink pad. Obviously, apart from my Memento Black that I advised everybody to have beforehand. So, stamping done for the moment. So, let's just close that one up. Now I'm going to do a bit of die cutting, so let me bring in all of the dies in case... Oh, I could have an avalanche off the edge of the table in case anybody hasn't seen these. So these are the dies that go with the stamp set, so they're the fluttering dies. You've got 10 in there, you can see they're £33, really good value. I love that we've got two of this one, which I'm going to be using here. So really good when you're doing multiples of cards going to be using these leaves as well. Now, as I've said previously, you could just cut out one individual butterfly. You've got all three different butterflies on there. But I tend to stamp the whole thing, cut the whole thing out, and then whatever I've got left, I put to one side and save them for another project. So I'm going to line this in. Where's my washi tape? and tape it down and then just run it through my baby boss so my mini cutting machine i'm getting a bit of a curve on i'm going to run it through that way now top plate little tip if you've got one of these don't have them flush here have have one that's a bit further forward it will help when it goes through. I've got my machine down on the floor by the side of me because it rocks the table. And I don't want you all getting seasick. Oh, I just love this. Every time I cut this one out, I just love. Look at that. Beautiful. Right, let's just get my ruler and push those pieces off a minute. Have to be ordering some new plates soon, I think. Once they start getting worn, then things tend to stick in there with them. Now, the other thing I need, you with your kits will have these die cut already. If you ordered the bundle, so you had the dies as well, you have got Rococo Rose cardstock, um, so you can die cut yourself some of these. I love these little leaves. I've already done some, but I'm just gonna do some more to make sure I've got plenty. Just to run that through. And grab my tape kipic tool bit left on there, a bit of basic white I can use. I mean that you could use with your blending brush and as a mask. Okay, all pushed out. Just 
pop that on there. And there we go. Done with you for the moment. So let's get rid of that mat and bring in the other pieces that I cut ahead of time. While I'm here, Tombow on me, I don't know how, because I haven't used any. I was crafting earlier. Let's just trim out all three butterflies. I'm not using any of the leaves today. But I just cutting to create a nice neat edge, no sharp edges. So can you see how sharp? That is just going to neaten that up a little. It is quite windy here this morning and it does feel quite fresh. I mean, looking out of the, the Velux next to me, I can see the trees swaying about. And although the temperature is going to be quite good today, I think that wind probably will make a bit of a difference. So I've got a couple of leaves left. I know they're blue, but you know, leaves come in any colour when you're a crafter. I'll be saving those for another project. So I've got my butterflies cut. We've got some leaves to create a background. Next, you need to take some DSP. Let me bring the card back in so you can visualise what colour you might want to use because obviously you've got lots of pieces of DSP left. So it's just this little strip, which I should imagine is about a quarter of an inch, three eighths of an inch. If you've got a scrap of something else left, use it up. Don't cut into a brand new piece. But I'm just gonna snip a bit off of here. To measure it it's just a strip and I'm going to stick with the one that I used so I think we can start building up now this layer this basic white layer I'm going to be raising on dimensionals there's no surprise there is there guys you know me nothing flat down so I'm going to be raising that up and we're going to be popping on some of these pieces on here. But before we do that, I want to stick down. Let me show you. Can you see I've stuck these leaves that I die cut straight down onto my Rococo Rose to add just a subtle background. I quite like the effect. Um, and when you look through the aperture, rather than just seeing... A plain piece of cardstock you've got some lovely kind of embossed uh, and kind of an embossed look to it so though you're saying the same love the embossed look yeah I've done that before um I did see I saw something really gorgeous on Pinterest the other day and it was just white same kind of look but done with white leaves and white background and I just loved it of course, I designed this a little while ago. So the best way to do this, in my eyes, is to lay this one over. I want you to come in closer. I feel like I'm a million miles away. I'm going to have one more go. How's that? It's probably too close now. I'll just wait for the catch-up. That's better. I feel that you can see what I'm doing now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is kind of pop these randomly where it doesn't matter how they go. I just want them to be showing. Oh, no gurgling 
hope you can't hear it. <laughs> As you know, I always have my breakfast after. I do like this little leaf. Let's put one there, maybe one there, and then I feel another one like that. What do we think? I don't think it really matters. We could have another. Because we're going to be having butterflies coming in. So that's the kind of thing I am looking for. <laughs> but how you laughing at me Zooming? I know. It's stressful doing the whole Zoom when you're on a live. I don't know why. I don't know why my phone flips flips my screen around. It's it's very bizarre. I am not a technical person whatsoever. I am rubbish with technology. So, just adding Tombow to the back just a little bit, not lots. And I'm just laying these pieces down. Don't want to try I don't want too much Tombow. Sorry, I'm aware I'm at the wrong end of my camera because I don't want it to make leave tombow marks everywhere although if you have the adhesive remover you can soon rub them off I know you often see me coming in with my adhesive remover so I'm just going to do the big leaves first so I'm not sticking them all the way down they don't need to be once they're on there they're going they're not going to go anywhere Stay back. Now just these little two. Curvy leaves. <laughs> Belle, you're terrified of zooming. I know, honestly. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I put off doing Facebook Lives for a good, good couple of years. I've wanted to do them for such a long time because it's another way of, of connecting and sharing and doing what I love. But the whole thing about going live totally freaked me out. I'm not gonna lie, it scared me big time. You know, I can stamp in front of lots of people on stage, which I have done throughout my journey with Stamping Up. I'm just gonna pop a little bit of Tombow on there. Can you see this little one poking up? It's going to add a little bit under there. Yeah, I've, I've stamped on stage several times in front of a few hundred demonstrators. That doesn't bother me. But the thought of going live to the world, it really was scary. But now that I've done it, I've done it quite a few times now, I am loving it. Um, I would like to progress to talking to you first so you can see my face. That's the next step. And I'm not worried about you seeing my face. I'm worried about turning you down, being you, you being upside down or back to front. Um, and I think it's just, it's part of the perfectionist in me that I want things to be right. But really in the real world, we're all human. We all do things wrong. We all stick the card front on the, on the card base back to front. So the card's back to front. We all do things like that. So at the end of the day, I don't know why I'm worrying so much about it. It's just me. Okay, so, oh, I missed one. We've got one that's still alive. Let's pop it, pop that one down. Let's just lay that back over. There was one trying to get away. Okay, just pop that one under there like that. any excess Tombow. So there we go. I'm going to put that to one side. So can you see how that looks? Now what you could have done to make that a bit easier is laid that down carefully. Actually, the best thing would have been to lay that down, draw, draw around it with a pencil, even not close to it so that it, it doesn't show. And then you would know where the lines were and then when you put this back in you wouldn't see the pencil marks or you could rub them out if you did 
Right, let's pop you to one side. We need to work on this layer. So you've got a piece of seaside spray. Belle, I'm rocking the Facebook Live. Thank you. You are very, very kind. You are too. I love watching you. Absolutely love it. You, you are very inspiring. I love your ideas. You make me buy product as well. When I see what you do with things, I'm like, oh, I think I might have to get that and have a go. So, right, seaside spray going down. And then we've got a little skinny strip of Knight of Navy. Just going to, I think what I'm going to do is just do a little line of Tombow. That might be easier than trying to pop it on here. Pop that one on straight. As straight as the eye can see when you're hovering above a camera. So Janet, are you still here? What are you up to today? What will your day be involving? You're going to be having a bit of crafting? Okay, just trimming off these ends. Belle, you're saying we're different. I'm so organised and methodical. And you fly by the seat of your pants. Yeah, honey, I wish I could fly by the seat of my pants. My OCD doesn't let me. It's tricky. It's tricky. I am always pretty organised to get everything ready for my Facebook Live before. There have been moments when I've forgotten something and I've had to like run over to the house if I haven't brought a charger over or... And of course then I'm, I run across and I come back and I'm out of breath and you feel like you're in a right panic. But as I've said, we're only human and I think it's good for people to realise that we are only human. Right, on this little pattern strip, I'm just going to snip off this end. Janet, you're having another new car. A convertible, of course. Well, you have the right weather, honey, for a convertible. You know, we have like a couple of weeks of the year that are convertible weather. So I've just snipped that one off. Looks a bit... That would be better, I think, just central it. Might make it a little bit shorter. Excuse me, I'm a bit sniffy today, although I'm sniffy every month of the year. I always sniff. It must be an allergy of some sort that I've never got to the bottom of. Let's just stick this and then I'll read your comment, Janet. So I'm just popping that layer on like that. Trying to work out how to send a picture of a 60th card you've just finished for your friend. Okay. So it depends how your friend needs to receive it. Are you sending it by email? Or are you sending it by a text or by WhatsApp? Trying to work out how to send a picture of your card for your friend for your friend there in Spain. I know me and technology. I was chatting the other day. Um, I've just started this month doing a scrapbooking class in the post. Oh, to show me. I don't think you can add a photo in. Can you do that, Belle? I don't think you can when in the comments. You could probably put it in, could you put it in after? I don't know. I'm not sure. See, look, I'm not very technical. I did warn you. Um, yeah, so I, I dug out my little selfie uh, photo printer and tried to connect my phone to it. This is how terrible I am. I couldn't even get my phone to find the little printer so that I could print from my phone to the printer. And it was really frustrating me. And I do have to Google. I have to Google everything that's technical. But it was like it wouldn't, it wouldn't find it. It was finding everything else on my Bluetooth that was around here, but not that. So I need to work on that later because I have done a couple of the scrapbook layouts, but I need to add in some photos. 
So before I stick this raised layer, I'm going to pop the Rococo Rose layer down onto my card. So down onto my base. So a bit of Tombow on the back. Belle, you think you can add a photo after the live? Okay, well, if that's the case, Janet, when I finished on the live and it gets uploaded, this layer doesn't look very equal. Let's just measure that. Hmm. That should be equal to that and it's not. I do not know why. But I have got the app for the selfie. Like I said, I've used it a lot in the past. Um, so I've got the app on my phone. Maybe I need to update it. But it just wouldn't find it. The same as I've got my little speaker that I... I was given from Stampin' Up. I got a lovely little speaker. Um, I think it was when I was on the Alaska trip and I couldn't connect that to my to my phone the other day to play music from it. I don't know why. Having a bit of trouble with... Also, I tried to film a video. Well, I filmed a video of my scrapbooking class and then tried to Bluetooth it to my Mac. And that wouldn't work either. Even though I was connected, my little Bluetooth sign, so as in like airdropping, it just kept like flashing with dots in as if to say, you can't do this. And I have to walk away then because I just give up. I'm like, I haven't got time to waste trying to figure this out. And then I walk away and then the problem doesn't get solved. That's my biggest pitfall. If things, if I hit a brick wall, I'm done with it. Hiya, Lucianne. Nice of you to join us. How are you doing? How's your knee doing? Just laying that down as evenly as possible. So you can see we've got like an aperture there with with our kind of embossed look. Next, we need to just add in our butterflies. So we are motoring our way through. You gotta go, Janet. Okay, honey, it was lovely to speak with you. I know I can't see you, but it was nice to have you here. You take care and I'll catch up with you soon. I have posted something for you. Obviously not to Spain. So it should have been received. Belle, it should be in your photos, the video for your Apple gadgets are linked, so you shouldn't need to Bluetooth. You mean in the photos on my Mac? I hadn't thought of looking at that. And they should all be linked. Because I get kind of notifications for everything on everywhere. I just wish I was a bit more technical. Does anybody else struggle with the technicalities like me? I mean, Sophie helps me out a lot. I'm like, Sophie, how do I do this? Help. Help me. Okay, so for my greeting. Oh, lovely. I'm glad that it's arrived, Janet. That's brilliant. Yeah, I'm jealous about the car as well. Although the wind out there today, I don't think I'll be having a roof down. I will have a look in my photo library, Bell. Thank you, I'll have a look after. So this is the many messages I've already pulled my stamper out. I was gonna show you in the book actually this. So I'm using the, so happy to celebrate these moments with you. And you'll need a black memento ink. You could have used, of course, use Knight of Navy if you've got Knight of Navy, or if you've got Rococo Rose ink, you could use that. But I'm stamping onto some Seaside Spray cardstock just for a different look rather than having a white, a white label. So let's just ink that one up, stamp it down, pop the lid on and I'm going to cut it 
with the messages die and I'm going to use this one because it, you can see it fits nicely in there bit of tape. I'm going to have to run this through my big machine because obviously it's too big to fit through the baby boss. I think that's central. So I'm just going to tape that down, pop it in. Oh, a lot of edges to go over on this guy. A lot of edges. It is beautiful though and then you just get these pieces left that you can just pull out. You don't want to leave those pieces in there because the next time you cut you won't get as good a cut. I gained a little star. It's actually a flower. It looks like a star from that side but it's a flower. Okay. I'm gonna have to blow my nose. Sorry guys. Don't want to be sniffing. Okay. So my little greeting. And my butterflies are the final things to go on. Let's pop the greeting on first. Now, because we are hovering, we're on a, a, a layer up with our dimensionals. I'm going to pop a mini one that side just pull the back off and then a bit of tombow that side just to anchor that edge down and we'll have it just part the way up straight would be good oh <laughs> she says as she moves it like that and then we'll just add in these butterflies if you don't want to put all three on, you don't have to. Come on, Tombow. Play the game. I'll put one over here. Don't want you too high. And then one at the top. And then one down here by my greeting. He just landed. He's just stopped by. Don't want to overhang in the card too much. The card bases that I cut, there is quite a bit of wiggle room. If I get an envelope and show you, hopefully you'll be able to see it. There's our envelopes are quite a generous size. So we've always got that little bit of room to overhang. So there we go. Now you could add some gems to this. You could add like a linen thread bow down here if you wanted to. You may just want to leave it as it is. You could add some Wink of Stella. So this, if you don't know what the Wink of Stella is, oh, I've got black ink or something on the end of there where I've used it. It's like a glittery pen. So if I just colour in these little bits and then I will show you. Love the Wink of Stella. Hopefully you can see it's just a subtle bit of glitter. Adds a bit of shimmer and shine. So I do love the Wink of Stella. Move that little flower. Uh, let's do something on the inside. What can we use? Let's put those pieces to one side along with my other leaves. Grab your insert piece. What about, I was gonna show you this set after. I used this one last week, the Punch Party. So this is available during celebration. Grab my little brochure to show you. And when you spend, which you may not spend on your own, but some people do, but when you reach £275 in sales, you get to earn this stamp set for free. So it's a host gift. So in the days when we used to do face-to-face -face parties, 
and you would have half a dozen people around your dining table and then they placed orders at your party so then that reached one of these amounts then as the host you would receive rewards and this is our special celebration free item for when you get to 275 pounds now it could well be that you've got a few crafty friends you could get them to or collate their orders you could collate their orders and put it through as one big order and earn this stamp set for free and i love it because it works with our punches so you've got the hearts the ovals is this one called the postage stamp don't have that i used this greeting last week what shall i use today so i've got i'm so happy to celebrate these moments with you could just be happy birthday we could put bravo you make my heart happy let's just put happy birthday you can see i've not used it a lot where's the happy birthday there it is hiding inside the heart i love the little for you do like that one let's find a block Bring the spongy mat back in. You can see I've been stamping strawberries. I've got some a strawberry share for you in a moment. And let's just simply do we could do let's just do happy birthday in the middle like that keep it really simple now if you i haven't got any spares i'm just looking around right next to my stand i've got a little pile of of scrappy bits if i had a spare butterfly then i would have maybe stuck one on there but that's a bit of food for thought if you're stamping along with me live you could stamp some more butterflies and maybe stick them on the inside of your card. Don't be frightened to stick something on the inside. I quite often put something 3D inside of my card. Just adds a bit of depth to it. I'm not going to stick those, but you know where I'm going. It's always good to finish a card but of course I know some of you don't pop inserts in some of you don't put greetings on the front until you're actually ready to send Lucian your knee's still painful when walking to the shop oh well I hope that your your physio is going to help I know I did a while back now I think it was 2016 I did a 10k for charity. Now I'm not a runner. I'm not very fit. I'm definitely not very fit at the moment. But I did a 10k run. Oh, that's a bit crooked. It's down. It's staying down. Um, I did a 10k run and I pulled a muscle in the top of my left leg. That was 2016. It is still not right. I did have physio on it and it took months for it to sort itself to a degree of where it wasn't waking me up at night but I can still feel it um, it's still there but I do exercises every morning I roll up my yoga mat and you're all going to be visualizing me now laughing at me but I honestly do I don't do it the weekends I have a break at the weekend but I roll out my yoga mat and I just do stretches just to help that muscle in my leg to keep it at bay so there's my card my little butterflies are flying away. Absolutely love these papers. Let me show you them again. Really quickly. So I show you them every single week. But they're too good to miss. And they're free with a £45 order. Only until the end of the month. So, talking of celebration. I'm going to move that to one side. I have got some papers to show. So if you are thinking about joining Stamping Up, 
during celebration, we are giving away, when I say we, that is not me, that is stamping up. They are giving away these five packs of DSP. They've got different patterns in. And so they're along with our kit. So our kit is £99, which is always a good deal. You get £130 of product and you choose those products. Okay, so you choose them. But during celebration, Stampin' Up! are giving these extra five packs of pattern paper. Each pack has 48 sheets in there and they are in our colour families. So you've got brights, subtles, regals, neutrals, and then we've got an in colour as well. So we've got one in colour. Look how bright that is. That is so bright for me. Um, and these are kind of sneak peeks. So these are our new colour collections that will be coming in the annual catalogue in May. So they're exclusive at the moment. So when you join, you get all of these for free. And they're worth around about £55. And you will be able to do so many things with these papers. So that's our join offer. Um, don't leave it till the last minute. I know I've got a couple of people that have contacted me and are still thinking about it. Don't leave it until the last hour on the 28th of February, just in case something goes wrong. Um, get in there early and get, get joined so that you know there's no stress about any last minute complications or technicalities that do happen. So that's our join offer. Now, Regardless of what you are joining for, I will never ask you questions about why you are joining. Um, obviously, I would like to know whether you, you would be looking at running the business or whether you just want to be a happy shopper and earn your discount because I would be here to support you no matter what you decide. So, what you know, there's no... I always feel awkward talking about this, but there really are no pressures. If you decide that you just want to join and earn a permanent discount on the products because you love these products, then that is totally fine. But if you think that you would like to share these products with other people, like I did when I started, and that you would maybe like to earn a bit of extra money, then I will be here to support you and guide you along the way. I will never pressure you. Nobody pressures in Stampin' Up. We are a fabulous community of crafters and I enjoy every minute of what I do. So that's the join offer that's happening at the moment. Just wanted to share with you some cards that I did create with the punch party. Just using some of the greetings. And I used, I showed you these last week when they arrived, my pierced blooms dies they're absolutely fabulous have i moved my grid paper let me see if i can zoom out can't zoom out no nope, we're still full in close which isn't handy when i want to show you stuff but these are some cards that i created for my team using the lovely pierced blooms I use the quite curvy stamp set as well. It's in the new January to June mini. I'm using Purple Posy, which is a retiring in colour. So another one that I was talking about earlier. I'm not using the ink, obviously, because we cannot order the ink. But just how beautiful are these dies? So I've used some greetings from the punch party. So I wanted to give you a little peek of that. I may well be doing some classes with that. But mostly I wanted to share that today my new events page has gone live. Now, I've got a couple of things happening for March. I've got my next round of stamp and chat. So let's just pull this out. So the next round of stamp and chat includes the sweet strawberry stamp set and the punch you get your five card kits here is one of the cards this will pop it i don't know if this will be the first but i am using some of the celebration dsp 
um, just because it works so well. So bear in mind that this paper from the Berry Blessings bundle that's in the Celebration brochure won't be available when I do start doing these lives. So you will get all your pieces in your kits. You won't have to, you won't be without them, but you won't be able to buy or earn the pattern paper by, by the time I go live. So if you're feeling that you need to have these papers to go with the stamp and chat, then when you place a 90 pounds order, you can earn that stamp set, the Berry Blessings. Let me grab it and the DSP that goes with it. So this is the Berry Blessings. It's kind of designed to go with the Sweet Strawberry Bundle. So this is my next stamp and chat. Now I've put a link on my, on this Facebook page, I put a link in there this morning to my new events page, which is really exciting. I was doing the finishing tweak it, tweaking on it yesterday. So it now means that you can go on there, choose your option of what you would like to go for, whether you want the full kit or whether you just want the card kit so that you can use your own stamps and inks uh, during my lives. Um, so you can head over there and book that online and you can pay for it. I've set up so that it's bank transfer, so you don't have to input any card information. It's all purely bank transfer at the moment. And I will be popping more things on there. You need to go to March. There's nothing in there for February but this is for March. So there's a couple of classes in there. So I would love for you to go over there and take a look. Um, as it's very new, I haven't properly tested it yet. So if there is a bit of a glitch, please do let me know. If you come across something you're like, oh, I don't think that's right, then please do let me know. The other thing, let's bring that back in, is my picnic basket class. So this, I may well be putting on oh, this lovely gingham ribbon, some of this ribbon on here as well. Uh, but this class is also on, oh, it's so close. This class is also on the new website, on the events website. And there are different options again. There are with the stamps included, with the punch included, or just for the card kits in the post. So there's different options, different pricing for you. So that class is this box and three cards. Um, so head over there and have a look. I'm not gonna share the other cards on here. There are some images over on my events page, um, but this box is so cute. I am including some of this this pattern paper is from the Heartwarming Hugs. Now, it's kind of dormant at the moment. It's coming back in July, in our July to January or July to December mini catalogue. So, but I have a load of it here and the gingham just works so well. And I really ummed and ahed about including these pieces in this kit because you can't physically buy this paper at the moment um but i guess that if if you're buying the kits you get the paper included and then if you want to recreate you'll have to use whatever dsp you've got in your stash so the events website i i've put a link on my facebook page i put a link on there this morning but basically it's it's simply pretty studio dot kerry tims dot co dot uk i believe bit of a mouthful but um that's the way it works because it's linked to to my blog as well so but there is a link you should be able to just click when you go out of the live click on there and be directed to it so i'm excited about that i'm hoping to get lots more things on there um such as i'm gonna bring my strawberry card back in for my stamp and chat because i think you get a better view like that um, I'm going to be putting, I've got so many cards that I want to sell from previous stamp and chats and classes. So I'm going to be putting cards on there for sale. I'm also going to be putting retired products on there for sale. And I do plan to start doing some paid tutorials like digital downloads as well. So that is my plan. I just need more time in my life, guys. So, but yeah, and lots of things going on with family, um, 
Coles is going back to work next month, so I'm going to be having VV one day a week and um, probably FZ as well and maybe doing a swap one one week, one another while she's working. So I'm super excited about that um, to spend time with them. So, But it means I'm going to have to be very work savvy. So, Lucianne, you need some men's birthday card ideas. I know, men's cards are always really tricky, aren't they? So I've just done my six card class in the post and here's a couple of sneak peeks i'm going live for my group tonight but um this suite of products is just amazing i actually i it wasn't top of my list to start with but i think you can't go wrong with a card like this for a man you know it just covers all the bases. It doesn't matter whether they play golf or they're into football. If you're sending a card a bit like this, then it's going to work. So, yeah, men, men's cards are hard, aren't they? They're tricky. So I'm going to leave you with the next round of stamp and Chat. And today's finished card... I think I've talked about everything. Oh, one more thing. One very important thing coming next month. I don't think I showed you this last time. I'm not sure if I did or not. So you have to remember we still have the Hey Chick going with Easter coming. This is a fabulous set of products. Perfect for Easter. Lovely if you've got our blends pens. You're going to have so much fun with these. Remember this is a returning one. Some of you may already have this from 2017 when it was one of our free celebration items so you may well have that and then just to finish we've got this beautiful butterfly bouquet coming next month my products are heading their way to me but we've got a beautiful stamp all these butterflies on one stamp we've got dyes we've got dsp absolutely beautiful i cannot wait for this to come and start playing with it so the die set is huge these are two different dies okay so you've got one that cuts out if you can see here from the pattern paper so it cuts all of those butterflies out in one go and then you've got these dies here that cut out like intricate butterflies got some gorgeous papers can buy the whole collection in one go so this is coming 2nd of March I'm going to be focusing on this for my next six card class in the post and as soon as I get some products landing on my doorstep I will be popping some more things over on my events page I may be it may well be able to find some images from Stampin' Up to pop on there for now until I can actually create uh, projects for you so so that's coming next month so that's really exciting so do look out for more information on that and something just to add before I do go because I am getting pretty hungry now you if you are thinking about joining my team before the end of the month you can add this into your starter kit so you could get the whole collection here add that into your starter kit and then choose lots of other products to go with it. And it ships for free. Starter kit, you don't pay delivery. So, yeah, lots of exciting things happening. Okay, I've waffled long enough. Been on for over an hour. Um, I have to go now, go and get some breakfast. And then get crafting. I've got lots to do. I've got some deliveries to do. Finally, orders have arrived. So, I have some host gifts from my host club orders to go and deliver um and then i've got another facebook live this evening for my six card class so i'm excited about that to engage with more people so thank you so much for coming along this morning if you're catching me on the replay on youtube thank you again for stopping by and please take care everybody and i will speak with you very soon so bye for now <laughs>